salad. One big bite. One big bite. One big bite. One big bite. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Crazy Might. Your beast, 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 hungry. And if you are new to my channel, you can just like, subscribe, and if you have a suggestion or question, you can just comment down below so that I will answer that as soon as possible. And if you want to notify every time I have a new uploads, you can just ring the bell button like ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. And I am so excited and scared because I know some of you um, Asian, no, Asian country, this is uh, not unusual or not exotic food. It's an African heater in the front of you, yes. It's wide and big. It is like this. And I have a big face and it's like this. And yes, Asian is not, um, it's not, you. Uh, it's not unusual to them. This one, it's normal for us, but there's still some filipinos still they think that um hito is exotic because uh, especially those filipinos living in city you know uh they it's barely seen this kind of fish inside the supermarket so yeah i'm eating african hito i will say african hito because that's what my father told me that if it's bigger and lighter the skin, it's an African hito because native Filipino hito is like darker and uh, the taste is different also. And yes, so let's get started. The taste is not that different, but there's a different of the consistency of the skin. You know, native Filipino hito is more like dense and uh, sweeter or, yeah, I like that native Filipino hito, but you can't find it here in Dubai. So, <clears throat> I have a bit of, <clears throat> because Dubai, du du Dubai, Dubai is changing climate again, weather again, climate. So, let's get started. And yeah, I have here, guys, um, cabbage. Yes, cabbage. And this one is like watercress, but I'm not sure. It's not on watercress because I eat before watercress. But it's on salad. I put scallions, dahon sibuyas, guys, and garlic. So, oh... I cook the hito like my mom because I like my mom and my brother because they love hito and I play their picture here. My brother, my fiance, and my cousin. So, this is adobo. Adobong hito. One big bite. I miss my brothers a lot, my mother, and especially my father. I will say my father is one of the best fishermen in our place. And I'm going to tell you that Hito is my non, my favorite, let me get fish from the river river or ponds or not in the sea because hito is not living in the sea i think yeah it's not living in the sea mm. i love hito 
and guys this is really big so i'm gonna try to finish this one but i think i can yeah this is 1.5 kilo kilos mm. Mm. Since yesterday night, 8 o'clock, stop eating. I stopped. And now it's already 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So how much is that? I don't know. I'm not good in math. Oh my gosh. Most of my friends doesn't like Hito because they're scared of the, the, the looks. But only Sarah and I can stand the look of the Hito. And I remember Sarah and I... Yeah, it's already Hito together. First coffee of the day. Kopi, kopi in the Philippines is better. Mm. Guys, in English, this is catfish. I'm always saying African hito, African hito. Yes, that's what we call in Philippines. We call catfish a... But uh, it, our, my father believed that this is African, African hito because it's bigger. And that's what we call. And even the super, in the supermarket, we call it African hito. Because smaller and darker is the Filipino native hito, which is catfish. This is a catfish. I don't know you guys, non-Filipinos, eating catfish or not. So, if you do, let's enjoy this. And this is my homemade kimchi. I made it three days ago, so I want to taste it yesterday it's very nice but not yet vinegary still not yet vinegary so i will check if it's the vinegar is progressing or not mm, yeah mm. Kabiters kanen kanen ha. Kaya lang paninindigan ko na talaga tong hindi ako magkakanen. Mm. Alam niyo guys, naaalala ko ang tatay ko at ang kuya ko. 
merong sungay ang hito dito sa may dito banda sa may ulo niya. Pero ito hindi ko nakitaan ng sungay pero Hindi ko alam basta pag na nasungay ka noon noon eh dadamdamin mo daw kasi hindi ko pa naman nangyayari sa akin eh dadamdamin mo daw yung sakit hanggang sa sa dulo ng paa pu, pa, kuko ng paa mo sa sobrang sakit minsan nga yung kuya ko eh na natusok nung ano niya yung thorn kinemper dito sa may ulo banda eh, naglagnat siya ng dalawang araw yata. Noon guys, mas malaki pa dito ang nahuhuli ng tatay ko sa ano? Sa ilog. Nung bata kasi ako guys, one of the boys. Sasama-sama ako sa tatay ko kahit saan. Kahit abroad na ako. Pag pumunta na yan siya sa tubig, andun na ako. Hawak-hawak ang balde. Pag nag-adobo kayo nito, konti lang ang suka. Toyo at maraming kamatis. Ang sarap. Alam nyo ba guys, nung mga bata kami, alas 4 pa lang yan ang madaling araw para kaming, para kaming mga pato na sunod-sunod. Uh, kuya, nana, kuya, alhamdulillah, sorry. Kuya, nanay, uh, ako, bunso, tapos tatay. Susunod kami yan, pupunta kami sa dam. 4.30 na ang madaling araw. Ang kuya, may hawak na yung patalim ng tatay. Ang tatay, may, may hawak na ganun din. Ang nanay, hawak ko lambo. Ako yung mga chinelas namin kasi <laughs> maraming putik. Tapos yung kapatid ko naman, timba. Alam mo kung saan kami pupunta? Pupunta kaming dam, mangunguha ng maliliit na maliliit na hipon. Kung sa Ilocano pa, kuros. Yun. Tapos ang sarap-sarap nun kilawin. Tapos yun, binibenta, ganun. Binibenta ng nanay ko.
Mm. Alam mo guys, ang mga, kapat, ang mga kaibigan ko, kapatid, sinasabi nila na ang sarap kong magtimpla ng kape, ang sarap kong magluto. Pero pag nasa Pilipinas ka na, alam mo, iba pa rin talaga yung lasa ng pagkain Pilipino, Pilipinas sa dito. Kahit na gaano kasarap yung luto mo dito, halimbawa yung simpleng itlog lang, na ginisang itlog, iba yung lasa ng, ng luto mo dito, samantalang parehas lang naman ng rekados, sa magiging lasa ng luto mo doon. Siguro yung sa lupa, tapos yung taste talaga nung ano, fresh na fresh kasi ang eggs sa atin, diba? Tsaka ng ano, ng mga gulay. Luya. Hmm. Huwag kang mag-alala, sar. Bibili tayo ulit. Lutuan kita. Dahil mukhang maubos ko yata. Mm. Nung umuwi ako ng Pinas, mas may malaki pa dito na hirto na nabili ko. Nasa four kilos, five kilos kaya Basta kung hindi, 4, 5. Hmm. Dahil sa wala akong kanin, pang break ng creaminess nung ano, Pinost kasi ulit ng kuya ko yung picture namin nung nasa 
Monte Vicencio kami na nakabili nga kami ng malaking hito. Ngayon nagka-idea ko, ah, ganun pala. Nagyayabang ka. So, naghanap ako ng hito. Eh, merong hito doon sa ano, sa mall dito malapit sa amin.